Welcome back to my channel welcome to another video if this is your first time please you have no reason not to subscribe because there's a lot to learn and unlearn on this channel okay please do well to subscribe click on the notification bell so you can get all of our new videos and be the first to watch it okay so recently um i started gaining a lot of subscribers okay and i started having a lot of questions and a lot of you um made it known that you have troubles making my samosa and spring roll wrap okay so this wrap is a wrap that you is kind of a, a general pastry wrap this wrap can be used for uh samosa spring rolls money bag and a lot more okay um like um what's it called um prawns wrap and all that so it hurts me to see that a lot of you tried and then you don't get it. So today I'm making a video just to show you some things that you might look into when you want to use my recipe, okay? Apart from the measurement of the um, ingredients, okay? Apart from that, there are other things I want to show you and that include your work, um, like what you're working with, okay? Before we go further, let me introduce you to my own, okay? So when it comes to pan, you want to actually invest, okay? I have up to six or seven pan that I'm not using anymore. If you notice, this one is new, like brand new. I bought this less than a month ago. I change pan all the time. And the reason is because I have students that comes for training. I have um, like people that comes to help me to clean and wash, okay? Some of them, I'll tell them, oh, don't use sponge or don't even wash my pan. And they go ahead to wash it, okay? It's only you that know what you are doing. And it's only you that can maintain your stuff. If you are using pan, this pan is a no. You see this pan, it's already out scratch. When you use a pan like this, your um, wrap, when you spread it, it's going to stick. Okay, no matter the recipe, it's going to stick. You can see this one, I've abandoned it. Though I still use it for maybe I want to fry plantains, I want to fry just maybe anything. I still use it because this is a very, very good quality pan. It's quite heavy. It's good quality. So I can't just throw it away. This one also, I bought it as new as the way I bought this. It's heavy as well. It's original. It's good product. But it also has a scratch. Like I used it for a while. I used it for a long time before someone used um, um, iron sponge to wash it. And from there, I abandoned it because using this is me stressing myself. This is not going to work. Okay. It's not going to bring out your sheet very well. So I have a lot of this I have set aside. Even some of my staff just like ask me, can I take one? I want you to fry egg or something. And I'll tell them take because it's of no use in my house, okay? It's of no use in my house. I have these two that are preserved that I used to do whatever frying I want to do. So you, but you see this pan. Any pan I'm using for my small chops, nobody uses it. Like I don't use it to fry egg. I don't use it for pancake. I don't use it for anything. I have another one that I use for pancake because for pancake as well, you need a very, very good pan, okay? This one is my small child's pan i don't wash it every day you can see this peel now is from the previous time i used it what i do i just clean it if at all i want to wash it i use foam i use foam to wash it i don't use sponge i don't use anything to wash it that makes it last longer and i don't fry oil stuff with it i don't fry anything with it because if you do you are like the particles of oil can even obstruct you when you are making your samosa wrap so when you are when you are going into business it's best you invest in your in your um, materials okay you invest so that you can have an easy process this one i don't use it for anything else it's for my small uh, samosa and spring roll wrap so once i'm done i just clean with a piece of cloth and hang it and keep it nobody goes to it nobody uses it for anything if you want to fry anything you can use any other pan that you see aside but this one is a no so that's one thing i want to tell you about your pan and make sure you are getting a good quality pan because some of this pan they will just like when you put it on the stove you will even see smoke coming out from it that means the cast is not good enough okay um let me show you the product i have the pro the product is a gift king they have other good products as well you can see this one is brand new okay they have other good products as well that you can try but make sure it's a good quality that alone can help you save time another 
thing is your brush you can't be using pentan those rubber brush and expect to have a good result this is kind of a wool or woody brush this is old this is what i'm using so don't even bother about the way it looks okay so yeah this is how it looks and before i will use it if i have to make samosa or spring grill that day i just pick it up from where i keep it and soak it I soaked this one. See, there's still water on it. I soaked it. That's why it's so soft. You can see how soft it is. You want to soak it so that your process can be easy. And then instead of using my hands to rub the sealer, I use this small one. You can see there was a day I used this one to put oil on my pan when I was making pancake and it melts. Okay. Though I'm still managing this place until I can buy a new one. So that is that for the equipment that I'm using. Okay. So I'll go into the process and I'll show you more that I want you to see. For the for the um uh, what's it called for the ingredients you already know what's in here if you don't check the description box because I, I there's a link there that will lead you to where the video of this mixing is okay here we have flour cornstarch sugar and salt sugar is hundred percent optional but salt is to taste you want to add salt just so you're not giving them just a minor taste okay so this is the mix that I'm working with today I'll get my bowl and we'll get mixing for the mixing i'm not making much i'm just making um a little for my client order i'm making two cups okay so we already have our small chop mix here okay so this is one and this is two small chop wrap mix that is the mix i made okay so you can't tell me that this mix is not good because this is what i've been using for years i won't show you something that i'm not using this is what i've been using for years and i showed you guys and a lot of you see i'm encouraged because more than 80 percent of you have used it i've started business my instagram you have tagged me you have showed me your work and i'm so appreciative i'm even put some of the work that i've been showed on the screen so that you can see so i'm i'm very well convinced that a lot of you have gotten this but for those of you that still have some little complaints i'm going to show you guys how to mix okay here we have two cups like, like i usually do you want to if it's me i already know the quantity i want but because of this video purpose i'm going to be mixing gradually to show you what you need to mix so this is half a cup of water i'm sorry i'm not using my one cup because i have it already inside my mix this is another half okay that makes it one cup of water so you want to mix this okay as you can see it's not enough because the water is dried up already so i'm going to be adding another half okay so i'm going to mix this so you can do this gradually depending on your floor okay let me share one secret with you if you go to buy floor somewhere and that floor you find it that the bag is just open down on the floor like it's open there's no um there's no sight of maybe the person is trying to preserve air from entry please don't buy because sometimes this problem might be from your floor it can be from your floor it can be that oh your floor was exposed air have entered okay so you want to make sure that you are buying floor that is covered that it was preserved okay i have not in fact i would say never miss um sieve any of my floor in all of the pastry i am making this is another half making two cups four halves okay four halves making two cups so i don't sieve my floor i instead i cover them i preserve them very well you don't want to open your floor to hair because when hair enter your floor that will not give you a creamy look like this instantly it will give you lumpy because air have entered so be sure i buy in bags okay the minimum i buy is maybe quarter bag but the moment i want to buy i make sure they're opening a fresh bag for me so when i buy i will know okay it's in my hand now i have to pre preserve it so if you are the type that buys one one um kilo two kilo just make sure you are buying from someone that knows the business that can that, that preserve their floor don't just go and see a bag of floor open and you buy from it no you are already buying a bad floor so at the end of the day you will not come out with a good um texture of whatever you are making so guys you can see for two cups of my um small chalk mix on my uh, wrap mix i've added four of the half cups of water that makes it two cups of water okay so you can see the consistency this is what i need and this is what i get see it guys see it you can see it right it's not very watery it's not very thick it's just there so if you want to use this measurement go ahead and use it so now let's get into the um 
the wrap making that most of you have issues with okay now i've showed you my five pan i've showed you everything now we are just going to get into it so first thing first i want to uh, arrange where i'm working with okay a lot of you have asked if you can make your wrap and use it the next day see with this method i don't see any reason for that because that's a complete waste of time okay imagine you making like a hundred wraps and the next day you are back again filling those wraps that's a waste of time so this is how i do mine okay here is the filling i'm using for my samosa i already have my spring roll filling piled here when i'm ready i'll open it so here is this floor okay this floor i'm going to use to floor my um work area where i'll be wrapping from where i'm wrapping from i'm going to floor that and i'm also going to lightly floor this plate because this is where i'll be dropping my wraps once i'm done wrapping okay you just want to lightly do it so that it won't stick to the plate right so this is it so here is my brush which i'll be using to seal up okay i'm going to leave it here so this is just my setting okay this is just my setting basically everything how i'm working and over here i have my pan okay let me just tint the camera a bit so over here i have my pan and here by the right i have my um my liquid okay so let's get right into it please bear with me okay because i'm alone and i'm trying to get all the angles so first thing let me show you how i spread this okay so like i mentioned you want to set your heat to something you can control mine is on high right right now because i want the pump to be hot before i can reduce it i'm making a video so i'm going to reduce it but if i'm not making a video i'm going to leave it on high because i'm quite fast and i can actually just control it okay but because i'm making a video i will try to show you guys one or two things so i'm going to reduce it at a point but you want to touch to make sure that your that your pan is hot enough okay like mine now is hot so i'll pick my i'll pick my uh, liquid you can see how it is i'm going to spread so this is the first one and it's going to always be like this because the pan is not fully hot okay so this is the first set let's allow it to so now i'm just going to show you how easy this is going to come off like there's no way you can tell me that this was sticking to your pan if you're using the right pan so be sure to invest in your pan if you're having trouble removing it from your pan okay so this is the first set that's why it stayed this long i'm going to show you guys the second step and then we move so this is it and by this time it's ready and guys see did this stick did this stick no okay so let me show you again So at this point, I'm wrapping the first one because I don't want it to dry up. Okay, I'm already wrapping it. So, yeah, it is. Guys, see it now. I didn't do anything behind the scene. I didn't do any magic. So, if you're having trouble, please go through everything I just stated and see if there is any way you're making mistake. I'm sure there is somewhere. Neither your pan, your brush, your mixture, just make sure you ch you check everything out before you tell me it didn't work for you okay please do that this is the third one i'm removing you can see there's no way i can do 100 at a go okay remember i, I haven't even low my guard my uh fire okay it's still the way it is it's still high because i'm wrapping as i'm talking i'm wrapping i'm making and all that so that is it so check out the box see i can make 100 like this and it, no one will stick because the brush is soft on the pan you can see the brush is soft on the pan it's not scratching the pan if you're using a rubber brush there's every tendency to scratch your pan so the, bu the brush is not scratching the pan nothing is hurting anything so everything tends to go well this is it this is everything i won't hide anything from you guys because i have no reason to okay so like i said you can lower your gas if you are not as fast as i am 
I'm not editing this video. You can hear me talking. So there is no editing in it. So you can lower your pan if you are not as fast, just so you can meet up. See it, okay. Now I'm going to switch the camera and show you guys how the wrapping is going. Okay, so I'm going to lower it now because now I need to show you how I'm wrapping it. So as you can see, once it comes from the uh, heat, I'm going to put it on this floor surface. So I'm going to fold, this is for samosa. Okay, I'm going to fold and wrap. Okay, so another mistake you might be having, some of you said your own is breaking. It's breaking because your board is not well floured, okay? You don't need to put it on a dry board. It will stick. It will break when you're about to fold. And another thing that might cause it to break is if there's liquid in your filling, okay? This is a dry filling. This is a samosa filling. So it's quite easy. Like this is my best um, wrapping. I prefer to wrap samosas than to wrap spring roll. If I have any help, if I have any students around, I first of all teach them how to wrap spring roll because I want, the, I want them to assist me. I prefer to wrap samosa because samosa don't have any form of uh, uh, moist. It doesn't have any form of liquid, okay? It's always dry. So you can see. And if you notice that there's no much flour on your surface, as you can see, it's eating up, add more. Add more, please. This way, you will have a dry surface. Remember, there's heat. There is heat on the um, wraps. As it's coming out from the stove, there's heat on it. So you don't want the heat to uh, soak up the floor and then you put like five more batch. You just end up with it sticking and breaking. So what you want to do is floor your surface. The surface is still looking okay like so. So you just want to continue flooring it so it can be dry. Oh, I hope you are seeing and you are um, taking note of these things, okay? So, like I said, as I'm spreading on the pan, I am wrapping, so bear with me, okay? If I'm wasting time to show you the wrapping process. So here's my filling. Take it, put it in the middle. I, I believe I've made this video several times. Wrap to the side, wrap to the side. Now you have a triangle pocket, and you just want to put your ceiling. My ceiling is the same as the wrap um, mix, okay? I don't have a different one, but you can go ahead and just mix uh, flour, and water and it is still still so this is it this is what i'm doing guys okay because i'm not making much i think i have enough samosa already so now i'm going to make um spring rolls so i will show you how i wrap the spring roll but you can see already the um method i use in spreading on my um pan so this is my samosa guys this is what it looks like So the samosa, let me just show you guys one more time. You put your filling in the middle, okay? This way you don't end up wasting any of your floor, okay? You fold to the side. You fold this other side again in. You take your um, ceiling liquid, spread on the edges, fold this in, fold this to the side. You raise it up and then lock it okay there's no need trimming all of this okay when it's fried it looks fine and it's crunchy so that is that for samosa i'm going to pack this up to my ziplock and then i'll show you guys the spring roll process so i just want to show you guys how i spread my spring roll on okay for samosa it can be small it doesn't matter but for spring roll you want it to be wide so that you can fold in you know how you fold spring roll so i try to use the all of the pan okay that I don't have a big pan. This is the reason. Because I don't want to be wasting excess floor. Okay. I want to make sure I use everything. I don't have waste after all. Okay. So this is for spring roll. You can see it's wider. It's like a four corner square shape. So this is it again. I try to make it as wide as possible. In fact, let me just say I use the whole space in the pan. Okay. So as, as that one is getting ready, I'm already here. I'm wrapping the first one as usual so let me show you guys what the 
wrapping process looks like i'm going to low my cooker so it doesn't get burned while i show you guys so you can see i'm using like the old space in the pan so over here i have my filling you can see my filling is no there's no liquid dropping out from it okay this liquid has been in the fridge for over four days see it has been in the fridge for over four days and you can see there's no liquid running out from it okay so for this uh, spring roll you want to assemble it in the edge you want to roll first fold in roll again now it's time to add your sealing liquid and then you roll okay so guys you can see for yourself isn't this perfect so again we have one here i'm going to add my filling so your filling is depending on your size the size your product work with okay so mine is uh, bigger than some persons and smaller than some persons of course so this is how simple spring roll is you can see guys you can see there's no magic here i'm using the same thing i've taught you since i started this channel so if you're having troubles please do well to check up check out all the boxes i have uh, mentioned make sure everything is the same make sure you're using the right equipment make sure you're doing it right okay i don't um after this video i feel like everyone should get it okay so this is what it looks like see it's really a struggle making video and doing this see okay and that is it that is it so and just in case you're wondering how many pieces we got from the um chops okay here is four spring roll six eight and ten okay we got ten spring rolls okay okay eleven spring rolls then this is five ten and twelve okay we got eleven spring rolls and twelve um samosas the truth is we got um 12 12 okay when i was making i was slow because i was making a video and one of them got too dry and i just tossed it off okay yeah it is yeah it is okay it's got too dry and i just tossed it out so let's say we have uh, a dozen each that's 24 pieces i hope that's good enough for two cups yeah now you know that one cup can give you a dozen two cups of my small chops mix can give you two dozens okay yeah that's it guys so what i'm using now is actually five of each so what i'm going to do i'm going to preserve the rest because i'll be needing that in in three hours time okay i don't need it like now now so i'm going to put in my glass bag and just put in my freezer so it doesn't sour or it doesn't just sit in the counter okay So that's five spring rolls there, and I'm removing um, how many samosas? So, yeah, it is. I'm going to put this in the fridge, and then I'm frying this 10 pieces here. Yeah. So while we are waiting for the rest of the item, I'll be adding this box to be ready. Here's the samosa and spring roll that we made, okay? So now I want to show you how crunchy this is. Are you seeing it? Are you seeing the crunch? Are you seeing everything? Okay. Mm. So that's how crunchy it is. It's still very hot now, okay? So this is how crunchy it is you can see for yourself how crunchy this is okay so yeah that is it that's what you get when you follow the recipe and you do everything right okay so i'm just going to assemble this box because the rider is like almost there so let me just quickly assemble the box what you are seeing beside is uh plantain mosa okay plantain puff puff if you want to see, not if you i'm going to show you the recipe in our next video I made like a whole video for it, so I'm going to be showing you in our next video. So, like I said, this order came with um, five samosas, five spring roll, 30 pieces of this um, plantain mosa, yeah, 30 pieces, and then five pieces of chicken as well, which I'll be adding at the end. So, enjoy the rest of the video. And if by now, see guys, if by now you haven't subscribed, 
you have no reason not to please go ahead and subscribe like this video comment on this video share this video to as so many people that would love to see it because there's a lot of details being shared in here and i know you guys love me enough to share my video please do well to share so other people can see it as well and let me know in the comment section if there's any points you want to pick or if there's anything that you you see that okay you don't understand let me know and i'm very available to respond and explain further okay so guys yeah so for the chicken this person doesn't like me adding like pepper sauce but i added a uh, sweet chili sauce some days uh, when the person ordered and he lost it okay he ordered just five chicken was supposed to go with this box but he ordered extra two chicken so that's why i have seven chicken there yeah it's just a piece of chicken not a whole chicken or a pie or something so i added the sweet chili sauce and i'm just going to mix 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 and add it to the box this chicken is freshly fried freshly cooked and all that so yeah i'm adding it to the box and then i'm just going to sprinkle some sesame seed so many of you have been asking me what's that thing you sprinkled on it yeah it's sesame seed okay just for garnishing nothing nothing else says, okay if i add cucumber in my fridge i would have added but i don't have any veggies in my fridge so this is the order this is how i'm going to deliver it okay so let me know what you think let me know what you think about this um, package anyway i know a lot of you will still want to ask how much this package costs because it's uh, plantain mosa it costs five thousand naira. but if it was a normal like the usual um sorry i said pan yeah if it was the normal puff puff yeah if it was the normal puff puff it's four thousand five hundred but because it's plantain puff puff plantain mosa it's cost uh, five thousand naira. so yeah this is my simple packaging after which i'll put in a nylon and that's all that's the other thank you so much guys for watching i love you guys so much like the video bye stop on a good set my light is never gonna die don't i go fire any devil devil my life is forever gonna shine before them no know me